Hey everybody, welcome back. Dylan here. Let's play Pyre. It's right time. Let's do this thing. Having landed at the Hulk of Ores, you and your fellow exiles now anticipate the hour that the rites are to commence again. What do you think, Tizo? Don't I look just like Mr. Hedwin? Oh. Yeah, he's worried that Hedwin is still sick. Wait, I think... What's that? A serpentine creature emerges from the water, followed by several others of its kind. You recognize it as a worm of the Sea Dominion, a vast and war-torn undersea regime home to untold numbers of amphibious worms. Having conquered their waters, the worms clambered onto the Commonwealth's shores in search of new wars. What they all are doing here, you see plain by the ritual raiments. The nearest one somehow loosens its mask. Good sirs and good ladies! So, it is you that heed the summons to glorious competition against this knight and his brigade. Well then, let us do battle now without delay. More than our freedom is at stake here, but our very honor. And this knight fully intends to reclaim his. Oh, and lest this knight forget, he is called Sir Gilman. He salutes you all on behalf of the Pyre Hearts. Until the contest! He splashes out of view, just as the stars above begin to shimmer with strange light. Okay, I guess we're fighting good guys today. They're so cheerful, they're so happy. Oh man, I'm gonna feel bad crushing them. Not really. Glory attribute fix, okay, yeah, we already knew that. Relentless, aren't we, reader? Damn right. Even the vastness of the sea was not enough to thwart your coming here unto the Hulk of Ores. That's right. You would be wise not to underestimate your adversaries here, despite their pitiable look. I was not planning on doing I that. I am, of course, referring to the Pyre Hearts. These rites are but another war to them, and that makes you their mortal enemy. Let's do it. I I'm ready. Your battle to be glorious. Ooh, this is a much larger field. Looks like we could take some shots down here, maybe. Your fellow exiles are gathered on the rotting deck of the Hulk of Ores. As your adversaries clamber into view, Rookie paws up to them. Say, what are you worms even doing here? Can't you just swim back to the Commonwealth or the Sea Dominion or wherever it is you're from? <laughs> An excellent point. It seems then that these adversaries and the rights are clever, wouldn't you say, Sire? Just, just, just get rid of them already, Gilman. As your commanding officer, this knight hereby commands it. Ark, this knight wishes to introduce his noble commander. No worm knight in history has withstood as many frontline battles. Doff your helm, sire, as is our custom. May our adversaries tremble at the sight of you. Sir Gilman attends to his commander's masks, despite his protests. Wait, wait, wait. Give this knight his mask. This knight hereby presents to you the great Sir Deluge, a noble visage, is it not? Sir Deluge trembles and squirms. Uh, so, uh, yes, you can swim or no? <laughs> of course we knights can swim. All knights of the Sea Dominion can. But we are exiles in this land the same as ye. We can swim, tis true, but tis summarily impossible to swim back up the river down, which we were flush to int up here. Nay, there is but one way to return. Silence, Gilliman. N -n Nobody cares, but back to your post. Sir Gilman hesitates, but does as he is told. Th this knight knows who you are, Knight Wings, and he is not afraid of you. He somehow climbs back into his mask and coils up to his full height. Now, on guard! The exiles of the Worm Triumvirate take their positions as you focus on the Book of Rites. Okay, they're all small. Reader, Edwin's illness means he cannot help us here. He shall be counting on us. Alright, so no headwind this time. So we definitely want... I feel like we want... Fey. Jadariel. And... 
Oh, Rookie counts as doing 20. Rookie death. Rookie. The choice is cast. No way these Warm Knight bozos are faster than me. Gilman, status report. What is the enemy's position? They stand now ready to confront us, sire. A very brave triumvirate they seem to this knight's eye. Brave? Air sucking monsters, one and all. Higher hearts, be ready. Alright. We ride. Commence. Oh, right. Got how to play the game. Oh, why is my frame rate so messed up? It has gone in. Weird. A stroke of luck is all. You mean a stroke of luck? Got it. This is going very smoothly. The deluge has vanished. Hmm. The orb. Got it. Okay, so he doesn't technically do. He doesn't technically have 20 glory because it's only when he actually dives in. Ooh, fast motherfuckers. Didn't get full damage. Oh, got a full 15 though. That's good enough. Gilman. Your form is sloppy. Fight them as though your miserable life is on the line. Your words do wound me, sire. This knight gives every right his very, very best. Though perhaps we do have much to learn from such a brave triumvirate as the one whom we now face. <laughs> Whose side are you on? Get out there and vanquish them at once. They seem to be arguing? Oh, I think this is our chance. Seems to be dissension in your adversary's ranks. It is little wonder these fool were Oof, with man. Will. These guys are getting wrecked. The right has nearly ended. Poor little bug eyed worm. Boom! The finishing blow. That's another flawless victory there, my friends. Their adversaries prove no match for them. Yeah. The right is complete. The sea was making me a little queasy, honestly, but we still won. We won. <clears throat> I expected more from the worm knights of the Sea Dominion. Those worms are quick, all right, but Rookie Greentail's quicker. This knight commends you, noble knight wings. Gloriously fought indeed, and this knight shall wistfully remember this defeat until the end of his days. Silence, Gilman. This is all your fault. And now cavorting with our enemies, how dare you? This knight but was attempting honorary compliments, sire. Is it not in, in accordance with the rights to praise one's adversary on a worthy outcome? Worthy? This knight will show you worthy, you miserable little minnow. You are a failure, Gillen. Get now from this knight's sight. Oh, poor Gillen. Yeah, getting that enlightenment. Collecting. Yeah, yep, yeah. and then cash of the inspiration. And Tizo gets more inspiration. All right, that was solid. Right. Solid, quick, clean, and a perfect victory. I love it. Stardust. Magical cocaine. Well, here we are. After overcoming the pyre hearts with great prowess, you at last return to the wagon with your companions. There is little discussion of the pyre hearts, who seem to have already swam off towards wherever the Nyx the stars directed them. Instead, your fellow exile's attention towards your, towards, towards your companion, who was absent for the right. 
Ow, his head one. The lone minstrel makes a sound, but no words form as yet. Something is troubling him. E. I urged him to remain bedridden. And... And he... he simply would not listen. I'm very sorry, but... Wait, what? Everyone stares at the lone minstrel in stunned silence. The lone minstrel breathes a heavy sigh. But then... Hey, what's with the long faces, everyone? Minstrel! I should wring that neck of yours! As I was attempting to explain, Edwin is already up and about, despite my having strongly recommended further rest. Those that are unaccustomed to sea voyage and take ill, they're very likely to experience further symptoms if they do not remain bedridden, or at least sedentary. Edwin is running a considerable risk of having to spend another night in great discomfort. What are you, a doctor? Nay, although I traveled once with one extensively. Look, I appreciate your caution and concern, Tariq, but I'm pretty well accustomed to discomfort here, and I had to see how things turned out tonight. Wait, Tariq. Hm. I haven't had to stay out of a rat like that before. So you are back among the living then, Hedwin. I was just seasick. Nevertheless, your full recovery requires rest. I think we could all use some rest after tonight. Anyway, thank you everyone for your concern, and I'm sorry that I worried you or caused you further burden. He turns to you. My friend, what do you say we figure out where to go next? I'm beginning to miss being on solid ground. You follow him outside where the night sky awaits. Hey, I wanted to thank you for conducting the ride back there without me being there. I could rest easy knowing you and the others would get through it. Anyway, I'll leave you to your reading. Can't begin to imagine where we'll be off to next. We're well past anywhere in the downside I've ever been. Uh, even Jody hasn't gone this far. He bids you a good evening as you turn your attention back to the sky. The stars shine down upon you. Let us seek again our destination. Where are we going? Is it here? Triesta, the Silver Star. That's a dope ass looking unicorn with holes in it. Still further north then. Not simply north. This shall prove difficult. What's the problem? Our destination is beyond the deathless tempest. A vessel such as ours has little hope of traversing it intact. Uh, tempest raging in the Sea of Solace seemingly for eternally. For all eternity, the storm that arose after the death of the sea titan Unfathom Plurns has never entirely subsided. We can't go around it. Given our confrontation with the Pyre Hearts, our chances back in Wormheld waters would be even worse. Come on, people. It'll just be another day in the downside. Go get yourself some sleep while we still can. I bet you'll feel better in the morning. Your optimism is infectious. Isn't it? You all concur that rest is in order, for the sea journey has been taxing to everyone. From daybreak, you shall have to find a way to sail past the Deathless Tempest. Huh? Oh, it's Faye. Oh, hi, miss. I'm so happy right now. I'm happy because I was so worried about Mr. Hedwin for a while there, you know? He was so kind to me when we first met him and Mr. Dario and Mr. Greentail and you too. But I just really like him. She sighs. She seems happy to be here. Say, do you, um... She trails off for a moment. Do you think he likes me too? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, encourage it. You suggest to Faye that if she has certain feelings for Hedwin, that she should let him know. It is a rare privilege to feel loved. She stares at you a moment. <laughs> then she begins to laugh. Oh, you're so silly, miss. I didn't mean like him like that. That's so embarrassing. Besides, I think that maybe he's a little old, you know? I'm gonna go cheer him up. This is a funny story. She bounds off, leaving you to ponder what just happened exactly. Plus one hope for the next right for Faye. That's pretty cool. We've got nothing else to do in here. So then on the next episode, we will continue our journey. I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.